Hi there, I'm Buddha, and you're watching Dr. Guitar, a show for all you guitarists out there. In today's episode, I got a brand new old amp. I bought a Super Reverb, a Fender Super Reverb, a while ago, but I had to retube it to refurbish it to make it uh, sound okay because it wasn't uh, properly connected. I retubed it all with groove tubes. It's sounding killer. It has a great reverb, great tremolo. And let's dive into the amp so you can know the amp. So as a regular Fender amp, it has two sides, the vibrato channel and the normal channel. I always use the, vibra the vibrato because it has reverb. And the different thing, as you can see, this is a silver face super reverb. So it has a master volume. And the master volume combined with the volume gives you a lot of different tastes. Let's, I'm using the BNG because I'm really, really loving this guitar. And it, it is so versatile that I can play things from jazzy chords. This to very raunchy rock and roll. Very funky stuff. So, it's a great guitar to demo the amp. I will play it with my Strat, of course, because it, it loves the Strat. So let's hear it as a Fender, and if you have been following the show, you know I like to test my amps by turning every EQ knob off so I can listen to what it does. And I will also turn the reverb off. When, when not, whenever you have an amp with a spring reverb, let's turn it off. So whenever you have an amp with a spring reverb, you have an extra tube in the circuit. So that changes the tone a lot because there's another preamp tube on the circuit. In this case, I really like it. It gives it a high end, a really, really great spiking high end, uh, a la Albert, Albert Collins, Albert King thing. But let's hear it with a master on 10. is as if the amp didn't have a master or close it. So let's hear if I have a uh, sound. Very few sound, which means it is a regular Fender architecture amp. So what, what does that mean? I have three gains and a master gain. So I have a gain for treble, a gain for mids and a gain for bass. That means they will distort the louder you crank them. Okay, if I put all on 10, I will have a lot of distortion. Let's hear what the bass does. Very dark sounding. Mid range. So it's low mid-range, not high mid-range, which is great. Treble. The 
treble is more mid-range to me. So it is very distinct from my Fender Twin Reverb, for example. So all the controls are, are a lot lower in frequency range. The bass is very deep, almost like the Lone Star. The mid-range is a little higher than the mid-range on the Lone Star, but it is also quite low. And then the, the treble, you, what, that usually is super high, in here is in the mid-range, it's in the vocal section. So I wouldn't mind to play just treble on. And I'll play treble on. <laughs> so let's set it usually on this amp, as, and I know it uh, because I've been playing it for a long time. Uh, this amp has a, a special thing or a strange thing. The bass control won't be good after 3 o'clock. And uh, I've seen some videos of Matt Schofield teaching how to set an amp and you, you move the knob until it works. There's, a, there's kind of a point where it turns on and off and you set it exactly in that point. And with this amp it really works because it, it really has a non-off position. So let's crank the bass. Well, let's start for the treble. Okay, I think it's around here, the middle one. It's a perfectly great tone, but let's add just a little body with the bass. Yes, this is a super reverb, yes, but it doesn't sound like it, does it? It really overdrives greatly, unless you turn the master down and it really gets quieter. So master on three. And there's a, usually a question does this um, master volume work as, as an, an output attenuator or does it work like a regular master? So let's try to crank, let's crank the input volume. Yes, it, it works like a master volume, but when it's cranked, you are also, also pushing the power amp tubes. It's like cranking the master volume on the Lone Star, for example. probably turn the bass a little off and this is almost like a one-trick pony but it isn't we still have reverb so turn it on
Now listen to the tonal characteristic of the amp. I will play it with and without reverb. It's not just that it has reverb, it's, it's a different thing, it has a brightness to it, it has a more 3D sounding to it. Let's hear uh, oh, how much reverb we can get out of it. still have tremolo so a great amp that pushes that has a great tone very dynamic and reverb and tremolo is that one trick pony mm, I don't think so and there's a usual uh, fender kind of thing it The, the tremolo is after the reverb, so you hear the reverb and the tremolo comes after it. So it is a very versatile amp. I, I really, really adore it. Uh, let's hear it with a strat. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
straight clean amp, very spark. <laughs> To me, this is Stratland. Let's hear it with the box of rock providing us a little dirt. It gets even better. So clean. And with a box of rock. Just a magic thing. Let's hear it with uh, the boost section of the box of rock, just cranking it. No uh, drive of the pedal, but just a lot more gain. A lot more volume, I mean. Yeah, man. Just incredible, just incredible. I remember and, and I was dreaming about having a Super Reverb for a long time. I remember playing at, at a great festival in Luxembourg, Blues Express Festival. And they had the first year that I played there, I've, I've been there three times now. But the first year I played there, they have a, a really old Super Reverb as a backline rental. And it was magical. The amp was magical, magical. I was was blown away and I wanted one. So I got this one. This is not a black face. It's a silver face. It is from the end of the 70s, beginning of the night of the 80s. Uh, it is the what they call the 85 watt super reverb, but it only has two uh, power tubes. So uh, I think it, it, it it's just a branding name, not not a real wattage, but it sounds incredibly amazing. I'm, I really love this app. Well, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe. This shows that you like the show, you support the show. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to our community. Subscribe it. Hit the bell. If you like the videos, of course, hit the bell so, to get notified when uh, new videos come up. And we'll see each other next week. Every Monday there's a new video. Bye-bye.